All right. First off, I want to talk about these dingbats, these total ding dongs. One over 160,000 ding dongs. White women for Kamala Harris joined Zoom call to learn how to shut up and listen to BIPOC to be good servants of the VP's presidential campaign. The main message during the training was to shut up and listen to black indigenous people of color. Quote, as white women, we need to use our privilege to make positive changes. How about as people? Let's go, let's let's take off the white and then let's take off the women and just say people. Maybe that's the most ethical way you could make this statement. As people, we need to use our privilege. Maybe take out the privilege part because that's kind of retarded too. How about just like we should try and make positive changes? That makes sense. And maybe we'll disagree on what those positive changes are. But at least you're not immediately framing it in some identity, you know, putting yourself in some identity prison immediately. Because if you're telling your, if you're saying, well, as this, you're already kind of, you're narrowing the bandwidth of what you can work with immediately or even how you can think about it. As white women, we need to use our privilege to make positive changes. If you find yourself talking over or speaking for BIPOC individuals or God forbid, correcting them, just take a beat. And instead we can put our listening ears on. Or you could just hit yourself over the head with a hammer over and over and over again. I don't know. It's not all, it's not all women. I know. I know. The Zoom call dubbed white women answer the call, but also shut the fuck up. Why did they leave that part off? White women, answer the call. Also, shut the fuck up. Because that would be accurate, right? Was attended by more than 164,000 white women to learn how to support the presumptive Democratic presidential, uh, presidential nominee, which included celebrity appearances from notorious America-hating former women's soccer team player Megan Rapinoe, singer and songwriter Pink, and actress Connie Britain, who joked during the training that uh, they should be called Karens for Kamala. I would call them front holes for Kamala, I would say. I think front hole is a polite way of saying it, or maybe that's the offensive way of saying it. I don't know. I just didn't want to say counts for Kamala, I guess is what I'm getting to. Not a family show. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it says here that uh, as white people... <laughs> As white people, we have a lot to learn and unlearn, continued Fodor. So do check your blind spots. Oh, it's a cult. And that's nothing but pure and simple old-fashioned communism. Oh, sure is, Jackie Gleason. Why don't they understand that? Let's take a look at their, their dingbat meeting here. My name is Liz Manella. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm a volunteer with Women for Harris, a mom of two little girls, and I could not be more hyped to be your host this evening. I want to know where all this excitement was in 2020 when none of you voted for her in the primary. She was like the last one. She was like the least popular. She was the worst. Maybe there was a maybe she beat a guy with like a bucket on his head. But she got like zero delegates. You were, you already had a chance to vote for her. You did you didn't. You didn't. All of this excitement is fake. This is bullshit. This is a Pavlovian response. They've been trained to get excited when CNN rings the bell, when MSNBC rings the bell. They drool. This is nothing. These are NPCs. All these people, that's 160,000 NPCs for Kamala Harris. That starts with joining the first national organizing call for Women for Harris this coming Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Put it in your calendar right now. We're going to share a link with you during this call. You will join other women from all across the country there who are also fired up about protecting their freedoms by electing Kamala Harris. Uh, cause, yeah, because it's going to be the handmaid's tale of Trump wins, right? Just like it was the first time. All these, these women all seem like they're doing okay in life. You know, 160,000. How many boxes of wine does that uh, equal out to? For the evening, Kamala Harris, nobody voted for her. They all had the opportunity to vote for her in 2020 in the primaries, and none of them did. She got zero delegates. She got like 3% of the vote. They didn't like her then. None of them voted for her. Okay, she was picked because Biden said he wanted a black woman as VP. Those were the most, those were the two most important traits of his VP. 
Okay. Now she's just been apparently in a palace coup. She's just been handed the nomination and backroom deals. 160,000 white women for Kamala Harris. Learning how to shut up and listen to BIPOC. Let's see this uh, quote again. As white women, we need to use our privilege to make positive changes. If you find yourself taking over or speaking for BIPOC individuals, or God forbid correcting them, take a beat, and instead we can put our listening ears on. The way this, none of this makes any sense. So for one thing, using your privilege. So they use their privilege to demean themselves. They, so they use their privilege to silence themselves. They use their privilege to be irrelevant to the meeting other than just simply being a number that somebody can quote. Well, there's 160,000 of us. But that's 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 all of your contribution is just simply being there like a zombie. This is it it's also incoherent, you know, and how humiliating is it as well? How humiliating for them? You know, is this why you like 50 Shades of Grey is like the best selling book of all time? You know, if your words have no value, if your words have no value and you're saying they have no value, then why are you why are you in the meeting? Why would you want to be there? If it's understood that you're your words have no value whatsoever. Your thoughts, your opinions have no value. If you're not going to use them at the meeting, if you're saying that you can't do that, well, what's 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 even the point? And again, using your privilege to shut the fuck up because you're white, that doesn't feel like privilege to me. It feels like maybe they don't understand the meaning of the word privilege. So yeah, it's a we it's the weirdest kind of tribalism. You know, it's the strangest, most bizarre kind of tribalism from these self-hating, empty-headed masochists. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.